good morning viewers and we are back and you know we love to end things with a bang here on tobago updates so we are ending on a festive note so at this moment we are joined by the past and the current from the division of education research and technology and yes we are speaking all things interdepartment so good morning to everyone and how are you all feeling this morning good, good morning, morning excited <laughs> nice so i'm um, just for all viewers and all listeners know i want you all to introduce yourself your name the year you won and we're just going to come down the road. Okay. Good morning, <laughs> viewers. Good morning, Tobago. I am Giselle Donaldson Yates, Interdepartment Champion for 2019. I am Donald Smith, Interdepartment Winner 2020. I am Michael Lewis, the reigning Interdepartment Personality for 2023. So it's clear to see that the Division of Education seems to have some type of trick up its bag. And I don't want to sound biased as a past work or anything, but it seems to me that the Division of Education knows what it is doing. So how does it feel to have this to have this title of, you know, I think people have the perception that once they hear the Division of Education, they know that, you know, they have to start shaking a little because you all clearly come with a bang, you all leave us mesmerized. So how do you all feel to have that reputation? Well, <laughs> it's a, it is um, adds to the, rep um, the reputation of education, mm -hmm. and you know, education tends to set high standards, very competitive. Mm -hmm. So to attain the title for three consecutive years in a row, mm -hmm. it's a good um, accomplishment uh, to add to the accolades of ed education. We had to dot all our eyes, cross all our teeth, mm -hmm. because every year the comp competition, you know, they're expecting something better. We had to go change perspective and um, just come harder. Mm -hmm. We had to wake up in the night and think about something else, pull out <laughs> the bag, change things last minute. But <laughs> it's a intimidating task sometimes because we know that all the divisions usually will be sending talks at us and so forth, but we come in, <laughs> come in, <man. laughs> we're so, not backing down. So as we make way for the current to come on air and hear what their performances may be all about. Or what we are not letting store. that out. That, okay. Come on the night of the show. Yeah, come on the night of the I show. I think every division has been very tight-lipped about what to expect. But um, any any words of advice for the participants that would like to join? Let them know why they should come and really see what the division of education is going to be bringing. What words do you have for viewers and our listeners? Give us just a little, just a little tidbit, just a little... Uh, of why we should come to see the Division of Education perform? Mikkel? Mikkel, go ahead. Well, um, given that we had the title three consecutive years, every year we had to put forward something that was even better because, you know, other divisions wanted to, uh, how to Capture put that? Crown. Capture the crown. Capture the and not give us that, 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 that hat trick that we were aiming for. Okay. <laughs> right? So... Um, as the reigning personality, um, I would say that, you know, to every, all the competitors out there, do, do your best, right? Um, aim, aim for total in all your categories and, you know, don't, don't, yeah, yeah, you throw a little pickong, but don't throw a pickong to the point where you had to bury your head in your <laughs> shirt. Uh, um, <laughs> like a shirt in the sun after, you know, yeah. to that point, you know, and, um, uh, well, the, the talent, everybody knows that the talent, um, how the local talent say, separates the sheep from the goat. Okay. Right? And you have to score high in that part. And, well, this year is costume. So, bring your best. Don't leave no stones and turn. Dot your eyes, cross your teeth. Mm -hmm. Stop letting out too much acting out the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, so viewers, we are going to make some way for the current to come on air. So this was the past. They are all decked out in their, in their winning garment. So and, and I just wanted to notice, female back to back, and okay. then we have two males back to back. Okay, so, so, so like I said earlier, viewers, the Division of Education, they have some sort of remedy that we are not aware of, but we love the energy um, as a past school. I am proud that, you know, the Division of Education is really representing and performing. So at this moment, viewers, we're going to take a quick little a break and we're gonna switch to the current so stay tuned
Good morning, viewers, and we are back here on the Tobago Update Morning Show, and we are continuing our conversations about all things interdepartment. We are joined by the Division of Education, Research, and Technology, and right now we have the current participants. So I want to say a special morning to everyone seated here. How are you all feeling? Good morning. We're feeling ecstatic. Okay. Right up energy, right up to you. <laughs> yeah. So starting from my right, I want you to introduce yourself and let our viewers know what you're all about. <laughs> Not a problem. So good afternoon, Tobago. Um, I am Kidani Okada and I would be your representative for Mr. Personality representing none other the vision with the most vibes, the division with the most energy, the division with the most educated people. Yes, I'm saying educated <laughs> too and I'm saying it big and broad. The division of education, research and technology. And good morning, viewers. I am Corice Wright Kerr, representing the Division of Education, Research and Technology, as he mentioned. And I will be the Calypsonian for the Interdepartment 2024. And good morning, viewers. I am Akisia Frederick Thomas. I am not a representative. <laughs> representative. I am the chaperone. I've been the chaperone for the the past uh, three contestants you just uh, saw and i am the chaperone for the contestants that is in front of us right now okay excellent so kidani and miss Coris, preparing for this is probably i could only imagine the amount of work you all have to put in especially with the reputation that the division has mm. how has that been for you all um so I find it to be quite interesting um as someone was mentioning when i was coming in they were telling me that i have some big shoes to fit. Mm -hmm. And I was mentioning to them, well, it's a good thing my, my foot is 12 and a half. <laughs> yes, I'm not joking, it's really 12 and a half. So if you want to buy a shoes to me, keep that in mind. <laughs> but um, I, I, I learned to um, accept the challenge mm -hmm. with an open heart. You know, yes. I am open to challenges and I like to challenge myself. So even being in this position, it's quite, it's quite beautiful to me. I really enjoy that 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 the feeling you know the bubbling feeling in the stomach mm -hmm. you're feeling a bit nervous yes, yes, yeah yes. i i like that feeling so so i thrive in in that environment so mm -hmm. for me i am actually ready for the challenge i'm ready for the challenge nice <laughs> and i'm ready as well because entertaining entertainment is nothing new to me mm -hmm. you know it's something that makes me feel alive and this is just an opportunity for the world to see that part of who Corey's really is okay, you know amazing. so it's, it will be a wonderful experience and I'm urging everyone to come out and support the tech full force. We are coming. No turning back. <laughs> <laughs> I love the energy, man. I love the energy. So I know everyone is tired to lift up about what to expect next week. But um, I know that the Division of Education, not to sound biased again as a past school or anything, but um, I know the Division of Education is going to come with a bang. So I'm really contemplating, do I tune in virtually or do I catch a flight and come physically because I don't want to miss it. But um, as we wrap up, as we're going to wrap up right now, I just want you to leave our viewers and our listeners just just with those last words of, 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 of why you are proud to represent the Division of Education. Well, I will say, as we say home, there's no place like home. Mm. There's no place <laughs> like the tech. So we're going to leave it there and we're going to end on a high note. And we, we are looking forward to a wonderful show and we're urging everyone again to come out, support. We have a lot in store, things to make you laugh. And, you know, it's just <laughs> what we do. Excellent. <laughs> well, if you're looking for good energy and good vibes to put inside a basket, education is the whole, the whole, the whole blinking market. You understand? So, so if it is you're thinking about coming, don't think no more. Scratch out your plans that you had before. Buy your boat ticket, buy your plane ticket. If you're in America, come down the road. It's going to be nice. It's going to be energetic. It's going to be crazy. The energy is going to be electrifying. Trust me when I say I don't want to give too much secrets yeah. out, you yeah, understand? Yeah. But you could expect some big things. And when I say some big things, I mean the energy that is going to come, the presence that is going to be here. So make sure and get your ticket. Now, education, we outside. All right. So I want to thank you all for joining us this morning. I'm really excited to see what next week holds. So viewers... Unfortunately, we are at the end of the show, but thankfully we ended it on such a great note. I want to thank everyone for joining in us this morning. Thank you for choosing Tobago Update to start your morning on the right note. We'll be heading over to Good Morning Tobago soon with Miss Candice Jackson. So remember to share the live, share the live, share the live, and I'll see you guys next week.